Hello students today we are going to learn a new chapter in science that is measurement of physical quantities in this chapter we will study that how we measure various things in our day to day life as you all know when we go to market or we purchase any other things the shopkeeper weighs the material or the article which you have purchased yes and that is the unit given to the weight of that particular object similarly there are various other things which are measured using various units so let's start and study how the various articles and materials are measured as you can see over here various articles and materials are given like vegetables milk etc so first is physical quantity what is a physical quantity in our day to day life we measure many things such as the weight of fruits vegetables food grains temperature of the body or some liquids volume of liquids density of various substances speed of vehicles etc quantities such as mass weight distance speed temperature volume are all called as physical quantities so these things such as quantities such as mass weight distance speed temperature and volume all these quantities are called as physical quantities okay so a value and a unit are used to express the magnitude of a physical quantity as you all know a certain value and a certain unit is used to express the magnitude of a physical quantity okay for example they have given swarali walks 2 kilometers every day okay swarali walks for 2 kilometers every day in this example 2 is the value what is the value 2 okay so 2 is the value and kilometer is the unit that is used to express the magnitude of the distance which is a physical quantity okay students so she walks 2 kilometer every day so 2 the number 2 is the value and kilometer is the unit that is used to express the magnitude of the distance and that is a physical quantity so distance here is the physical quantity i hope it is clear now students okay now let's move on to the next topic that is mass now what is a mass the amount of matter present in a substance is called as mass okay the matter which is present in a substance matter is the smallest particle indivisible particle that is present in any substance the amount of matter that is present in any substance is called its mass okay so matter has a natural tendency to resist a change in its state which is called inertia okay the matter which is present in any substance it has a tendency a potential to resist a change to stop any change in its state okay so mass is the qualitative measure okay so mass is a qualitative measure of the inertia of an object the larger the mass the greater is its inertia okay the more the there will be mass in a substance the more will be its inertia okay and mass is a scalar quantity now what is scalar we will study over here okay it does not change from place to place anywhere in the world means it does not change it remains constant okay the quantities mass and weight are however different mass and weight are two different concepts okay gram and kilogram are the units of mass okay so what are the units of mass gram and kilogram which we write as like this gm and kg so gram and kilogram are the units of mass okay when we use the two pan common balance in a shop we compare two masses you all know the common balance the kata vajan kata which you have might have seen in various shops 
ओके वेन वी यूज द टू पैन कॉमन बैलेंस इन अ शॉप वी कंपेर टू मास नाउ एज आई मैंशनड ओवर हियर मास इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी सो आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज स्केलर क्वांटिटी अ क्वांटिटी दैट कैन बी कंप्लीटली एक्सप्रेस्ड बाय इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड अलोन इज कॉल्ड अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू मेक इट मोर क्लियर ओनली मैग्नीट्यूड दैट इज अ वैल्यू विथ अ यूनिट which is used to express quantities such as length breadth area mass temperature density time work etc okay so these are all examples of scalar quantities thus we say that the length of a tunnel is 2 km the fever or the temperature is 101 fahrenheit etc so keep in mind a quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude only as i told you over here 2 km so 2 is the value and kilometer is a unit expressed to used to express the magnitude so the quantity that can be completely expressed by only the magnitude it is called as scalar quantity so you can see here the examples length breadth area mass temperature density time and work all these are examples of scalar quantity so scalar quantity is done now let's have a look at vector quantity also the quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction both are given see here in this magnitude and direction will be given it is called as a vector quantity for example see displacement velocity are vector quantities for example a displacement of 20 kilometers towards the north if a vehicle is moving and it has completed 20 kilometers and it is moving towards the north the aeroplane flying at a velocity of 500 km per hr okay towards mumbai so see in this magnitude is also mentioned and direction is also mentioned so here there is a involvement of magnitude as well as there is direction also so they are known as vector quantities whereas in scalar quantities there will be only the involvement of magnitude okay so i think so this is clear now so scalar and vector is done so i had told you mass is a scalar quantity so it comes in this category now let's see this weight when we measure in grams kilograms is mass and not weight okay so when we are measuring certain things in grams and kilograms that is the mass okay that is not the weight so the gravitational force that acts on this mass is called as weight so gravitational force that is acting on this mass that is the weight of that object okay so the gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its center is called the weight of the object as you all know the earth pulls any object towards itself with the help of the gravitational force okay so the gravitational force by which the earth attracts any object towards its center that is called the weight of that object therefore weight is a vector quantity okay it is different at different places of the earth as you all know the weight of certain object on the earth may be different at different places depending upon the gravity present over there so weight is a vector quantity as it involves both the magnitude as well as the direction so i hope this these points are clear the physical quantities okay as i told you the quantities such as mass weight distance speed temperature volume are all physical quantities and i gave you the example also and scalar and vector quantities scalar quantities is can be completely expressed by only magnitude and vector quantities can be expressed completely with the help of magnitude and direction both will be given so example of scalar quantity is mass and example of vector quantity is weight okay students thank you so much